for my phone so I can vlog while I'm driving. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm on my way to the library um, to return some books. Unfortunately, one of them I didn't get around to reading, but it's okay. I can check it out again some other time. Um, so that's fine. So as far as my reading uh, this week, I've been so bad about updating you guys. Um, but as far as my reading this week, I, what did I read? Okay, so I finished reading uh, From Twinkle With Love or whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, so I finished reading that. The review is up on my blog. If you are not following my blog, go and check it out. Uh, all my like in-depth reviews are on my blog currently. So that's a really good place to go look if you wanna know what I'm reading and also uh, just more in-depth thoughts on the books that I read recently. Um, as far as the book, it was honestly, it was very, it was very average. It was a very average read. Uh, it was a contemporary. It's coming out at the end of the month. I want to say it's coming out on the 29th. Don't quote me on that. I, I don't remember the exact date it's coming out. Um, but it's from the same author that wrote When Dimple Met Rishi. I haven't read that book yet. I really want to read that book. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But now that I've read this one, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of her writing style. I just felt like it was a very average contemporary. Uh, the plot was very predictable. Everything that was supposed to happen in the book did. And honestly, the character, the main character, uh, Twinkle, really started to annoy me. And she was very juvenile. And I mean, honestly, Honestly, like I know she's a teenager and I know she's gonna have a younger voice just because she's a teenager, but it almost felt like even though she was supposed to be like 16, 17 years old, she would talk like she was 10 years old sometimes and that really annoyed the heck out of me. So that's why I gave it a three stars. I liked the premise of the book, how she uh, wants to be uh, a director one day and she writes the formatting of the book she writes letters to her her favorite directors I guess female directors so as far as formatting of the book that was really unique and cool but I I just I wasn't feeling it so I gave it a three stars if you like a fluffy predictable contemporary <laughs> I would pick that one up, <laughs> but I like a book that, you know, makes me, leaves me guessing a little bit, and contemporaries that have a little more, I don't want to, like, substance, that they're more about, you know, mental health, or, you know, I don't, I don't know what, I don't even know how to describe it, just contemporaries that deal with harder, tougher topics, I like those more. Um, so I was really disappointed on that. And then I started reading The Diviners. That is really interesting so far. I'm liking that it's set in uh, New York in like the 20s and the main character is like a flapper. So that's really cool. And I've been half reading it, half listening to the audiobook. And honestly, I'm liking the audiobook more because there's like music and stuff, like jazz age type music. And I'm really loving that. So that's really cool. Um, it's a longer book, so it's taking me a little bit longer. I'm only like two hours into the audiobook. But yeah, I'm loving it. I'm definitely probably gonna get, continue on with the series because it's already having me guessing. Uh, 
I just, I really, I like the premise so far and it has supernatural elements in it, which I love those type of books. So I'm really liking it. And last night I was reading it and it left off on a huge cliffhanger. So I'm like dying to read it tonight. I can't wait. Uh, it's Friday night. I am heading to the library, like I said gonna drop off some of these books that I checked out that are due and then I'm gonna go get some pizza with my grandma and then I'll probably just read but yeah just haven't updated you guys in a while and I thought I would do that my camera but I'm sitting here and I'm looking at myself <laughs> in my camera <laughs> and I'm like oh my god is this how I look <laughs> normally at night cuz I'm looking real attractive right now <laughs> eating pretzels <laughs> I'm thinking to myself I'm sitting here eating my pretzels. No wonder why I'm single. <laughs> Cause look at me. Look at this hair. I have to shower. This is this is grotesque. This is very grotesque. I think I'm gonna um go to the beauty supply store tomorrow. That. I can go to with my cosmetology license and get more pink hair color because the pink that I got in my hair it's like fading already and I'm gonna put some more pink in my hair I think because I'm really digging the pink hair but at least my dog loves me at least she finds me attractive well she loves me so if that's even the same thing. Okay, now this is just getting weird. It's late at night and I'm starting to ramble. You want a pretzel? You want a pretzel? You want a pretzel? I already gave you one. Mommy needs to give you a bath. You want a bath? Yeah, you want a bath? Mommy's gonna take you out to potty one last time, and then mommy's gonna give you a bath, and then mommy's gonna take a shower. So then we're both clean. How does that sound? That sound like a plan, Tinkerbell? You love mommy? Do you think mommy's attractive? <laughs> you wouldn't care how mommy looked. <laughs> you just think mommy's the best person in the world. You don't care how I look. And that's why I love you. And that's why dogs are so much better than most humans. Because they just give unconditional love. Isn't that right? I know. We're gonna get going. You wanna go potty? You wanna potty? Love you. So this might be super nerdy. Oh my God, my hair. Okay, this might be super nerdy, but my first, okay. I love Random House Publishing. Like Penguin Random House is like one of my favorite publishers in the entire world. Like it would seriously be a dream of mine to work at Random House or HarperCollins. Like I love, I love those publishing houses so much. So I got my first ARC from Random House in the mail, which was The Strange Fascinations of Noah Hypnotic. 
and I'm really excited to read that. But along with the ARC, I also got my first like letterhead <laughs> from Random House <laughs> with like my name and address and like this is the ARC that we sent you and um, like their address and whatnot <laughs> with their letterhead. <laughs> And so I wanted to frame it because I totally am having a fan. I had a fangirl moment. I'm like, oh my God, my name is on a random house le letterhead. And I started freaking out because like to get something from random house, like it's just so ugh. like the fact that I got something from random house, like I never thought this this would be possible like a year ago when I started my channel on YouTube and when I started um, like really thinking about book blogging and whatnot. So yeah, I decided to frame it <laughs> even though it's like super simple and like not that big of a deal. Well, it is, it's a big deal to me. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say like I'm gonna save all my like bookish um, memorabilia type stuff because I, don't, I like saving that kind of stuff, you know, like kind of like a forever box, you know, of all your memories. So yeah, I framed it. <laughs> Which Shih Tzu had a bath and is now extra feisty, huh? <laughs> Do you feel so much better? Do you hear somebody outside? Come here. Come here. Come here. Tinker Rat. Come here, Tink. Come here. You're so feisty now. Hmm? You're so a little damp. Oh well. You're not that damp. Who's so cute? Who has a baby face? Who's very spoiled? You are. You ready for bed? You ready for bed, Tink? Yep, that's your spot. <laughs> I love you doggy play date with my mom's dogs. Miss Penny Lane over here is very upset that the cleaning lady is here and we all have to be on the bed right now so they don't get in the cleaning lady's way. Tink's happy. What Tinkerball? He's smiling. A little dog party. With the bro.